What is up guys, it's me. Sorry. What is up guys, it's me. So I started that intro a little too early, but um, yeah. So this is going to be the second gun I'm reviewing today. Um, the other one I just did was the WE Big Bird, so please go check that out on my channel. I have a lot of other cool reviews, and um, yeah. So I want to start off by saying please go check out my new uh, business Facebook page, Tactical Chicken Airsoft. Um, it's kind of a weird name, but sure. You know, uh, Tactical Chicken Airsoft. Basically, really quick, what we do is I go and I basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to start a little business where basically I will buy, sell, and I trade uh, guns and gear that are lightly used. And basically, I kind of wanted to make this for, you know, the the airsofters out there who are just kind of getting started or even, heck, some people like me who have been airsofting for a few years um, and want good guns and good gear but do not want to pay full price. Don't really feel like buying some really w beat up gun or gear for about the same price. So let's get started into the review of the a and K. I'm trying to get it all in the picture. Uh, LR300. Pretty much, you can see, this is, start off with the flash hider. This is a really nice metal flash hider. Um, it, it's spray painted pretty bright orange. It looks a little duller in the camera here, but trust me, it's pretty bright. So we're going to start from the front and go to the back. So next, we're going to look at the front sight. I really like this sight because, frankly, I'm not a fan of triangle sights. And the other thing that's cool about this, with a simple Allen key, you can remove this front sight without having to hacksaw anything off, like I have had to do in the past. Um, let's go, we have the grip. It's pretty nice, it has a huge, huge area um, in here for batteries. This gun, I believe, does come with a 6.9 volt. Making sure um, the motor, I thought it was out. Anyway, it comes with a 6.9 volt. Uh, no, 9.6, sorry, nickel metal hydride battery. Um, you're looking at about 360 FPS um, feet per second out of this gun with 0.20 gram BBs. Now, the magazine it comes with, this reminds me of one of those G&G &G, um, big mags that they have. This thing, I believe it is a 600 round. I'm not quite sure on that, so don't quote me. Um, then we have, we have the back sight. Now, truly, from what my, this is another gun I got from my soon-to-be brother-in-law, um, who, this gun is actually for sale, guys. So, um, currently, I will not sell it off of YouTube. You have to go see my Facebook page, Tactical Chicken uh, Airsoft. But anyway, he said it was like this in the box. I don't know. Basically, the rear sight is really nice. I like it. It's, it's everything on this gun is like metal, I swear. Um, really, really nice. And it is gives you a great uh, line of view. So yes. Uh, then coming to uh, the adjustment right here. Now you do have this really nice bolt, which I will say is a lot nicer than a lot of other ones I've had and seen. Um, but it does not open the dust cover. So this is one of the pet peeves I have about a lot of AEGs. Um, but anyway, yes, once you open it up, you can see it's very, very nice polished cylinder. It's very clean. Uh, a lot of them you'll open up, especially the clone guns like these, and they'll be just covered in grease. Um, hop up is your standard M4 hop up, and really there's nothing special there. But this gun is very, very durable, like most A&K is known for, and I personally really like this gun. Um, I did have a privilege of shooting this, and I will tell you, it is an extremely accurate gun. Um, at, I hit a half inch target 10 out of 10 times at uh, 45 feet, which is 25 yards. Um, that's pretty good, uh, especially with the iron sights. So yes, uh, then coming we have the trigger, which is very nice. It has a pretty good trigger pull has a pretty clean release is what it sounds like here we have your mag release very simple and this is actually metal that's where a lot of companies they go and they just throw on a plastic one 
Um, but this is this is why I really like A and K guys, because they take the time and they do it right um, for a good price point too. This gun I believe is anywhere from you can get it from I think one hundred and sixty dollars to one hundred and eighty five to ninety dollars. Usually it's in the higher range. Uh, did see one on like a Chinese Hong Kong website for one hundred and sixty five plus like seventy dollars shipping. So. Really, it's better to buy this, um, America. And let me come around to the hand to the grip, which I absolutely love. This is a very nice, very, very, very nice, uh, you know, little pistol grip here. That's what they're called. I'm trying to remember. Basically, the safe semi on auto. Um, it doesn't have a very loud click, but whenever it's there, it's not like. You know, you can go like that all day, and it's really not going to change while you're shooting or anything like that. Um, this does have a non-working, non-functional non forward assist right here, and it has a folding stock. Um, now, I'm not going to do this currently, but basically what you do is you're going to press down on this. And it's a pain in the butt. But anyway, yes, you're going to paint, you're going to press down right on here. Where is your sling loop? And then up front, I believe there is too. Um, anyway, the shoulder is it's pretty comfortable. Now I can see this gun being used for a DMR slash. Um, pretty much, I can see this gun being a really good DMR um, and possibly a very good, you know, like assault assaulting rifle. This because the longer barrel, you do get some more oomph. Now. If you do go and you do buy this gun off of Tactical Chicken, that is from me, um, you will get two flash hiders. You'll get this one, and then you'll get a just another one that came with it. Uh, you'll get the gun itself, which literally has had less than 100 rounds through it. You'll get two magazines, unlike one if you buy it new. You'll get this one right here, which is a nice high cap, and you'll get a 300 round too. Then what you do is you get a very nice sling, not the crappy ones that come in the box. Um, it's actually a, what is it, it's a real steel firearm company, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Anyway, is it Condor? I think it might be Condor. Um, I have a whole box of them. Anyway, yes, you will get that, then what you will get is you will get the battery, and actually not the battery, you will get a better battery, a uh, better 9.6 than it came with, and last but not least, you will get, um, Basically, what I like to do is I like to throw in new stuff. Oh, and I already have installed a 6.03 type bore matrix uh, barrel, brass barrel, into here. So, basically, yes. Um, it's a very good gun. It, my guess, it weighs probably about maybe 5 pounds. Um, but it's, it's a good kind of weight. It's not the bad kind of extra weight that you're not going to really need. Um, this gun is... Very good in my opinion, um, highly recommend it, and it is a very, very good gun. I like it because the reason why I said DMR, because again, the front sight is removable. You gotta remember that, guys, um, whenever all y'all are, are going out there building your DMRs. So basically, I think this would be a really cool gun to throw on a nice ACOG or, you know, if you're into it, um, a scope. You know, like a low magnification scope or something, or even a high mag. But anyway, it's pretty accurate as is, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please go check out my Facebook page, and leave me a comment, and a like, and a subscribe, and all that good stuff. And... Pop! You're dead. Later, guys.